Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now then, hedgehogs, turtle doves, water voles, all iconic wildlife that help make up Britain's rich landscape. But a conservation report out today says that more than half of native species are in decline and around 15% are facing extinction, making the UK one of the most nature-depleted countries on the world. Our science editor Tom Clark has been to Wales to look at the efforts being made to reverse that decline. It's a face no one round here has seen for a century. After a wary sniff, a Scottish pine martin steps gingerly out into a Welsh wood for the first time. The radio collar marks this individual as part of a reintroduction project, bringing pine martins south of the border to reverse the near extinction of the mammals in England and Wales. The next day, we're out with the Vincent Wildlife Trust to radio track this pine martin and four others released at the weekend. For this project to work, they need to know how the cat-sized mammals are taking to their new surroundings. So the strongest over there, which matches our first bearing quite well. It puts so she's her probably behind that rise. You think? Probably, maybe she's probably in one of these tall spruce trees. Reintroducing pine martins isn't just about bringing back an iconic woodland predator. Ecologists see them as a keystone species, one that could bring wider benefits to the environment. It's, it's mainly to do with this idea of trying to build some, some more robustness into our wider ecosystems, and that includes having predators. You know, predators are an important part of our ecosystems, and I think we need to step back and see how we can reduce our costs by reintroducing natural processes mm -hmm. to, to do that for us and to do it in, in perpetuity. Here's an example, this reintroduced pine martin carrying off a grey squirrel. After decades without predators, invasive greys are a pest in many woods and gardens. Some believe pine martins could help native red squirrels return by killing off their competitors. Bringing back pine martins to the forests of mid Wales is on its way to being a conservation success story. But today's State of Nature report finds that overall the opposite is happening, with more than half of our native animals and plants in decline. The report finds 165 species like freshwater pearl mussels and the high brown fritillary are critically endangered. Not all are doing badly. Otters have made a comeback, bitterns are booming and the large blue butterflies returned. The biggest threat to our biodiversity is loss of habitat due to urbanisation, draining of wetlands and loss of traditional woods. But the greatest impacts are on farmed land that covered 75% of the UK. This is to help over winter in birds to have a finer food source from the sunflowers, from the barley, from the wheat. Gloucestershire farmer Simon Payne has worked with government environment grants to turn a conventional arable farm to an organic one with added features for wildlife. Filled in ponds have been dug out, nest boxes put in to benefit bird life. He feels the current incentive schemes are far too complex. I would like to see it simplified and hopefully, in the, by, well, my agreement finishes in four years' time, I can go carry on into some sort of stewardship and I hope that it will be simpler by then. And the likes of the NFU and the likes of myself and other farmers have got to keep driving this home to, to DEFRA and Natural England to make this simpler to, to take up. Change is definitely coming. Brexit will mean an automatic withdrawal from Europe's common agricultural policy that subsidises farmers. Conservationists say government now has a golden opportunity to put biodiversity at the heart of any new policy. I've been